howdy y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna call this a climbing podcast or a video cast or whatever. Who for? My friend Paula Bear. That's right my friend. My fellow rider of a different genre. Me pumping up with the gravel bike on a gravel road that's barely ready in your early spring. <laughs> Thinking about you and the urban riding might not be doing that right away. Oh, wait a minute. Eccentricities of the our area. Let's see if we can get that tugboat in there. Did I get that? A pond with a tugboat, my friend. There's all sorts of things you're going to see around here. And I put that in because I know that you're the urban adventurer. The man with the black and white iPhone <clears throat> keeping us posted on what's going down in Vancouver. I appreciate that. <sighs> well, I got a little bit of a reprieve. I might be able to breathe. You know, I'm going to take a moment. I don't know what kind of sounds are coming through here, but I was inspired by this thing on the cycling podcast. They put in the I forget what they call it, the, the slow cast or something. Anyway, what's cool about it is that they get people to send in like sounds of cycling. So right now, I hope that beyond my voice and breathing that, oh, you hear the dogs in the background there. I think that's Christina's place. <clears throat> and uh, maybe pitter patter of the rain, I have no idea. Get a bit of the wind, I don't know. But I like the mindfulness, meditative aspect of paying attention to the sounds. Oh, I'm hearing some good birds. I hope that comes out on this. But anyway, all I want to do is share a cycling experience from my world for you. <clears throat> because you've been sharing yours. I know that pretty soon I'm going to be in Vancouver. And uh, <laughs> I get that we won't be riding together this time. <clears throat> but another time. We will, and I look forward to that. So, keep getting out there on your walks, caning away, getting some good shots, recording the day, spreading it. Me, I'm gonna keep pumping up this road. Might get some slush soon. Yeah, we'll see. It's all good fun. <clears throat> Couldn't wait. <laughs> so here I go. And we'll talk to you soon, my friend. I love you. Big time. And see you soon. Ha! Psych. We're gonna continue. I thought of more things to say. Nice to talk about bikes, you know? So, what am I riding here? I've got the Salsa Via gravel bike. <clears throat> I'm wearing a Schwalbe Marathon slicks. <clears throat> Let's talk about them a bit. So, the bike. I know, I like gravel biking, I like getting out. And uh, I wanted a bike, it's gonna be my commuter. This thing's gonna last me forever. <laughs> it's a chromoly frame, you can fix the damn thing. It's heavy, but it should be pretty bomb proof. And beyond that, I don't have anything really fancy on this bike. It's just a good bike, that's it. I don't have up-to-date group or anything, but it works. Um, yeah, these marathon tires, man, those are awesome. I run them tubeless. Threw them up to 80 right now because I was doing a lot of road to get here. <clears throat> Probably drop it to 50 for this road and it would be more comfortable, but it doesn't matter. But I'm telling you, man, these tireless tires, just indestructible. I've taken them on road gravel trail <laughs> seriously it's been fantastic <clears throat> um, what else is I gonna say let's see you know I've been loving podcasts so just the idea riding listen to podcasts and now riding and keeping a few notes it's pretty fun we'll talk bikes when I get to Vancouver no doubt about that my boy Paul here he's rocking Wolverine and that classic orange. So, you know, it's nice to be talking about storied bikes. 
that's what we'd be riding together in Vancouver. We could ride right now, but you know, we'll put that on pause. It comes back. We can still chat about it, talk about internal hub systems and stuff like that. See if I can convince them to <laughs> swap over to gears in his old age. You know, we'll see. But right now he's rocking beautiful single speed. You know, the cool thing about Paul too is he's been riding for years now. Urban rider, commutes, goes for rides. That's how he goes out. He doesn't even have a, doesn't have a car, doesn't have a license. No, screw it, doesn't need it. He's got his bike, he's got a Wolverine. So he's taking that bad boy over town. Do you call it, do I grab some catchy term, like call it the urban assault vehicle? But he's not assaulting anything. He's riding, he's taking pictures. He's noticing. He might be cooking along sometimes, but he's also taking his time and he sees what's around him and he shares it with us and I like that. So I'm gonna encourage you to continue doing that. <clears throat> anyway. I'm still riding up this hill because this one, Camel Road, it goes on for a little while. Not bad so far, actually. It's been pretty solid, just a couple of mushy parts. That's what stuff I gotta deal with being out in the country, my friend. <clears throat> road from home, so hit up the pavement to get here. The back road is great getting in. Highway riding, man. Hats off to road riders out there. Are you urban riders too, man? Dealing with cars and traffic all the time? Right. Although, I'll take the city traffic over highway traffic any day of the week. I like the change of pace. I still miss that from Montreal. <clears throat> and that's why I look forward to riding around Vancouver with my boy Paul. We've done it before. We'll do it again. But, yeah, believe it or not, I live in the country. I love mountain biking. Gravel biking is a sideshow. But urban riding? Believe it or not, I miss it. So, I want to hear more about that from you. And uh, talk bikes, get on some rides, and talk about noticing. Maybe going fast, maybe not. Talk about going slow, no matter what your speed. Anyway, peace bro. I'm gonna end it there. Go try to do some more of this climb. Who knows, maybe I'll think of something else. Ciao man. Love you. See you soon. All right, my friend. Here, I'm going to introduce you to my support team. Freya Denham. Christy Putnam. They're awesome. There's the letter that I forgot that I'm delivering to some friends. Oh, boy. But, you know, my support team's still happy with me, it looks like. Hey, what do you think? Yeah. I think that means she's happy. All right, well, that's gonna conclude this thing. So, once again, Mr. Paula Bear, I'm gonna give you a shout out to say hi. I'm gonna say, uh, give a shout out to Higher Ground, my only sponsor, along with my support team. And uh, we'll end off with the uh, fuck cancer, right? See you soon, bro. <laughs>